so guys in this video um we'll be taking some examples on um pose and residues and we have our example one to be z e raised to power three z z, z minus three all squared now we have our z to be equals to three at analytical at analytical points so that's three twice so this implies that we have a double pole since we are having raised to power of two and we have n to be equals to two now since it is a double pole we'll be using the second formula for n poles that is for double poles and recall from the previous videos that, that i gave you this formula so having n to be equals to two and having um our z z tends to three so when we insert everything we have um z e raised to power three z then we use product rule to differentiate and insert the value for z so our final answer is seven e raised to power six now the second example we have one of our z plus z z plus two all raised to power three now we equate z equals to zero that's a simple point because the power is one then we equate z to minus two that is a double point because the power is what is three so this simply means that n will be equals to three now we solve for at simple points and insert the necessary parameters then we have our final answer to be equals to what one over eight then at double points always always try as much as possible to put r a minus one this is simply the representation of what a residue means so r minus one is signifying a residue y z equals to a number is representing our pole do you understand now we use the same formula again and we arrive at our final answer as um, 2 over 8 2 over 8 so that is it so we'll continue with other examples so we have our last example to be z minus z3 over z cubed plus 5z so we're all factorizing out z squared we have our z equals to 0 twice as at the double pole and z equals to minus 5 at the simple pole then our residue apply our residue formula then we have z minus 3 over z squared that's um putting z equals to minus 5 we have our finance to be minus 8 over 5. now we also do for um double points so on applying for double point we have our final solution to be z to be 8 over 25. so using the same approach just try out um this question f of z equals to z over z squared plus one all squared times one over z times one over z so you can just do it as one over z squared plus one all squared so you confirm your answer to be minus i over four thank you